honey locust gets singly compound underneath or double leaves. Second one today. And they can even have combinations where like two two of these are just single and then it doubles up up here. They can even kind of be mixed up a little bit. You know, like maybe just a few of these double up and mostly single. So they'll be both. Again, the more vigorous the tree's growing, what do you think you have more of? Exactly. All the, that, that's a general pattern for all kind of features. So there's this is a pretty fast growing young one. It, it, it wasn't, it, it was brought in on its own when they quit mowing. It just came up, right? Uh, these fruits here are super, super conspicuous, right? So all the Fabaceae, remember we had a, uh, remember the Kentucky coffee tree? Had a pod. Well, of course, that one was really, it was about that big, which we didn't see. And then, so this thing, these big helical, like wind chimes almost, big helical things, uh, you can't mistake it for anything. Uh, the other thing that honey, it's not native, I need to tell you that, it's not native. And it gets a lot of thorns. Now this one, I don't really see it. But I'm going to show you that on another one. And I want you to write, I need you to make a little side Note here. Okay, a little side note. Write down thorn equals twig. No, on the side. Thorn equals twig. Any thorn is a twig that turned into this sharp twig. <laughs> Trivia here. Since a thorn is a twig, they can occur anywhere. Out of the trunk of the tree, anywhere on the limb. They can even decide, they can have a leaf on them. It'll be a thorn with a leaf. Uh, they might start growing into a branch. They can have balls of thorns on the side of the trunk, and we'll show you. So, super unique bark. And then I want you to see these thorns on the back side right here. Some of you have a good view of them, some of you don't. So, there's thorns, and they can have a leaf on them. Like this, this little clump in here actually has a few little leaves, because thorns are twigs. And they might start, like this one, up. I'm going to grow. Mm -hmm. And then it's got its own form. So they, they're a modified twig. Other times they'll just kind of die, and you'll have gray, a bunch of gray, dead like the bark, cluster of thorns right on the side. Everything planted in the landscape is pretty much the thornless variety. It's not a different species. It's a freak. It's, 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 it, it's a freak that didn't have thorns, and then they propagate it. And everything they plant is basically the thornless one. Here's some fun again, if you want to try. Where's the honey part come from? If you just eat that green part, they kind of chew off the green. Anybody else want to try? Tastes almost like honey. Uh-huh, it tastes like honey. It's very, very, very sweet. Honeydew melon or something. That's the honey in the honey locust.